Hi guys, welcome to another episode of The Tincture of Sense. So, we're here again, another week on the SARS series. This is where we talk about all the SARS-like tendencies, day-to-day -day Nigerians, both men and women, young and old, exhibit. So on today, we're going to be talking about ghost workers. Now, everybody knows ghost workers are not workers that are actually ghosts, people that have died and coming back alive to come and work. Uh, I think this is especially a menace in the public sector. So this is where uh, people in power, in those organizations, a ministry, a hospital, government hospital, whichever one, they create people that don't exist or exist and put them on the payroll and start getting salaries for them. So uh, these same said people, as I always say every week, these same said people will turn around they go somewhere with their friends or anywhere they are and but where people are complain about nigeria they too they open their mouths wah and say something is wrong in nigeria now what are the what are you doing you, you're going to set up a fake worker put them on the payroll collecting salary on their behalf but you're complaining about the country you're complaining about yourself yes you you're complaining about yourself and you're not getting paid enough money so what go to the public sector go to the private sector sorry i'm going to get more money there if you don't like your job, leave that as in your, it's not your father's place of work. Your father did not establish the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Labor, the Ministry of Health. It doesn't belong to your, to your, to, to your town, to your father, to your lineage. It's not your grandfather's inheritance. Go and get something else to do. You know, complain about the country, but yet you are the one that is destroying the country. Money that's supposed to go to something else, they will eat everything. That's why, you know, people like them in government, you see they have a uh, hundred houses somewhere in Abuja, somewhere, or uh, estate here, this billions stolen, all from doing nonsense, create ghost workers, chop the money, inflate contracts, chop the money. When you die, take the money to wherever you're, no, actually, you're probably going down here. Okay? You guys need to think of sense because this money, you won't, when you die and leave this earth, you can't take it anywhere. You can't take it with you. Maybe it's a secret. Or don't tell anybody I told you. When you die, everything stays here. You're not taking anything with you. You came naked, you go back naked. Your houses, your cars, all these things, they will be, they will be here. All this your material position that you're chasing yourself, trying to kill yourself to get. They will not go with you. Okay? Be better. Be a better person. You know, live within your means, manage your resources. You don't need to drive that Benz. It won't make let me give you a secret. That Benz that you want to buy, it's good to buy a Benz. But you know, you will not sleep in that Benz. When you get into your house at night and take off your clothes, you're still the same miserable person you were when you left the house. Okay? You can go in the Benz and people see you and heal you and say, Chairman, call you Ranka Dede. When you get home, you're still the same miserable person with a hole in their hearts, trying to fill it with material possessions. It will make you a better person. Okay? That's my two cents. So take a tincture of sense, okay? Enjoy that. Uh, maybe you have some sense and stop doing stupid things. On that note, thanks for watching. Look out for our next video next week. Bye-bye.